chances are you've heard of or used this iconic product. But who was the person behind it? Meet Paul Buhait, Google's 23rd employee and the lead creator and developer of Gmail. While today we view Gmail as an integral part of Google, back in the days, it was a novel project met with resistance. Despite these struggles, Paul, who essentially created a startup within Google, leveraged key lessons that expanded Google's vision and transformed email. Lesson one, start simple. Paul's overarching ambition was to create an awesome email program. But his first prototype started with solving one problem, searching emails. Essentially, Google for email. Even though the first prototype only performed this one function, his coworkers found it very useful. And it only took him one day to build. Starting simple by focusing on one problem allowed Paul to build, test, and validate his idea rapidly, providing a foundation for the next iteration. Lesson two. Solve real people problems. One real people problem that intrigued Paul was the way that email conversations could get way out of hand. In the early days of Google, he and his coworkers would aggressively organize emails to piece together conversations, a process that was tedious, time consuming, and prone to error. So Paul thought, why not put all the emails together in the first place? His solution was Conversation View. Which grouped conversations together and displayed all the messages as cards. As a result, people could efficiently keep track of conversations. Paul's focus on solving real people problems, including those of customers, coworkers, and his own, allowed for constant, purposeful, and focused innovation that helped create better user experiences. Lastly, we come to lesson three: know when to copy and when to try new things. One of the reasons why Paul loves working at Google is that there are lots of projects and people to learn from. He asks himself, "Does others' work apply to us? Can we reuse techniques?" And sometimes that can mean copying from yourself. When building the first prototype for Gmail, Paul used code from a previous project, Google Groups, allowing him to rapidly test his ideas and move Gmail forward. The challenge, however, Is figuring out when to say, "Our problem is too different from theirs. We have to do something new." Paul recognized that Google's algorithms for web-based search could not always be applied to an email system. Issues such as data storage, speed, and fast delivery would require new approaches to create a useful product. Recognizing that people's needs for email differed from those for web search. Allowed Paul to invest his time and efforts on the parts that actually needed development and innovation. It took some time for Google to get used to the idea of Gmail, yet by starting simple, solving real people problems, and deciding when to copy and when to experiment, Paul transformed the Gmail startup into a central part of Google's brand.